in the name of our ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program. Known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Number 7. I am your soul brother, number one. During this short discussion, at any time, please use the chat room, the comment section. Please correct my error. Please show me where I am wrong because I don't want to be in error. I don't want to be wrong. I want to... I don't want to be correct. It can hurt my feelings. But it's better for my feelings, my feelings, to be hurt rather than go down a path of error. It is better to be corrected because we do ourselves a disservice to believe or go down a path of truth and have truth or outrageous or outright lies in the Quran or in it, or in the religion of Islam you are asked in your prayer or you say in your prayer and you ask Allah oh Allah guide me on the right path the correct path so that's what we want to do. However, belief, no matter how sincere you are, does not make something true. Very quick example. I can believe I am married to this lady. I can believe that. And I can be sincere in that belief. But the reality is, that's not true. I can believe all I want. And I can get, I can make up documentation if I, to try to show you that I'm married, but the, the documentation would be false. It's not real. You can believe all you want. It will never make something that is false. It will never make a lie true. Now, in this example, it is false. It's not true. But it can be realistic, although the probability is very, very high that it will never come true. But it's still realistic. There's a possibility. It could happen. Now for thousands of years. We have. Or we have been conditioned. And we have been taught. To believe in a spiritual realm. In God. In that which is outside. Something that's supposed to be outside of our. Reality something outside of ourselves. And we have seen after thousands of years gone by. We've seen no sign that these things are realistic. At all. The probability is not, it's not even a probability after a thousand years. There's no sign. But we can believe all we want to. And you can be sincere. And you can go to your grave being sincere. Belief does not make something true. No matter how you believe. So, 
Correct me if I'm in error. So within the history of soul brothers and sisters, within the history of foundational black Americans, within the, the history of black America, during the time of slavery, during that period, there was a time when the slave, our ancestors, as you know, were denied education. They were also denied religion for over a hundred for over a hundred years. It was against the law to give the slave education. It was against the law to give the slave a God. And you definitely do not permit them if there are any slaves who have adopted some type of spiritual religion from uh, other captors, victims. That was not allowed to be passed down. So for the average slave, they had no religion for over a hundred years. This is fact. If it is not fact, please, if it is not fact, please use the comment section. Over a hundred years. And this is because the slave owners didn't find it necessary because the slave was an animal who didn't have a soul. No different from a pig, a horse, a cow, a sheep, a dog. They didn't have a soul. So what is the need to give these animals God? Because they don't have a soul. When they die, they just... They said that the slave didn't even feel pain. So you could get beat. And you could be abused and you don't feel no mental or physical pain. You're just some kind of soulless animal. And this is how they were treated for over, our ancestors were treated for over a hundred years. So as many of you know, the first experience that the slave had after 100 years gone by, the slave master decided to give us Christianity. Then a hundred some years later comes Islam then a hundred some years later, we are introduced to all types of different spiritual, religious systems coming from nothing. The slave that had no religion at all, nothing. And then when you do get something, you got it from your slave owner. When you did get something, it came from other citizens of this nation, other foreigners from outside of this nation. That's where Islam comes from. But one thing that is clear, Christianity didn't come from you. Islam did not come from you. None of this, these, because our ancestors had nothing and they were doing just fine. What was the reason why the slave master decided to give the slave religion? What is religion primarily used all over the earth? The rulers began to understand that you could use religious and spiritual and spiritual and spiritual beliefs to keep the people docile as a means of control. You can control the, the people better putting in their mind spirituality and religion than keeping an army over them. It will keep them docile. It will keep them in a condition not to rebel and rise up against oppression because they put their faith and hope in another spiritual world 
or they waiting on some savior to come and straighten everything out. So now the rulers can sit back in the cut and don't have to worry about the people rising up against them like that because the people are waiting on an alien, a spaceship, some kind of angel, something going to come and save them rather than the people looking at themselves and saying and tell themselves we are sick and tired of being sick and tired and we are ready to rise up and we're going to take these evil suckers out of service. And so if there's evil in the world, like Dr. King said, evil exists because good people do nothing. And good people do nothing because the Savior, some God or alien or spaceship, or I just have to suffer in this world because when I die, whether I believe in a religion or spirituality, when I die, I'm going to a better place. A better place you've never been before. A better place where nobody has been there and came back and told us nothing. And the rulers of the world sit back in the cut. This is great. This is wonderful. And so instead of keep so instead of using your army to keep the people in check, you can use your army to go fight over gold and silver and oil and free human labor and the other material things uh, in this civilization. But we don't have to worry about the people rising up and giving us problems because religion and the, and the hope and the faith and the belief in a better place, some kind of spiritual land, got the people under control. So religion and spirituality and spirituality and spirituality is used to keep the masses docile so they will not rise up against the wicked. They are good people. Many of you are good people. But evil exists because good people do nothing and the religion and the spirituality keeps you from doing nothing. Even though in your heart, your heart and your nature tells you this is wrong. Even animals will rebel against slavery and oppression and abuse. That's why it's called domestication. And these things are helped to domesticate us. When you domesticate something, you don't have to worry about it rebelling against you. You've been domesticated. You've been institutionalized. And so those who know that's the condition of the people don't have to worry about you doing anything. So you sit back in America and you wait on some kind of miracle. You don't even know how to come together and use your vote against those who are not clearly not acting in your best interest. You do nothing. I, I will put that in God's hand. But the sad thing about black America is these gods are not yours. So when the black American, the soul brother and sister, the foundation of black America talk about they believe in God, they really don't believe in God. You believe in the person that gave you their God because God has never come to us. God has never come to the black man and woman in America. We adopt what our slave masters gave our ancestors or we get something from foreigners. There's no God has never come to us and told us nothing. 
Why would you want to worship and wait on a God that don't find you worthy of a visit? You have to get secondhand hearsay information from somebody else. Because God has never talked to you. You talk about Jesus. If it wasn't for some foreigner, if it wasn't for the slave master, you wouldn't know nothing about no Jesus. God has never come to you. Maybe that's because God don't exist. There's nothing from the spiritual realm that you experience. Your experience in the spiritual realm come from what somebody told you and your brain begins to make up just like in religion, then your brain takes over, your brain knows that this is not real, but you want to believe it, so your brain makes you have hallucinations and because it's individualized nobody else can see your hallucinations well God talked to me, but I can't never hear your God, even other people that believe like you do can't see your God, they can't see, they cannot experience this with you because it's delusion, just like a crack addict, just like a drunk. When they begin to hallucinate and have delusions, they are the only ones that can see these delusions and this hallucination. The only one that, the only one that hear you talking to God is you. If God was real, just like a Diesel truck is real. I don't have to believe in a diesel truck. But I can hear something, some kind of machine going up and down the road. I don't have to believe in a diesel truck. And sooner or later, it's going to be very clear that a diesel truck is real. Because I will see it. I will hear it. I will even smell it. All these gods over 5,000 gods all over the earth and nobody outside of the belief system even the believers nobody can experience this God together because that's your hallucination but the point of this video is black America has no God we worship the gods and we are taught from other people. There's no angel that has come to us. God himself has found us unworthy of a visit. So we got to get hand-me-downs from Arabs. We got to get hand-me-downs from Europeans. We got to get hand-me-downs from Asians. We don't have nothing of our own. You would think if I'm going to worship a God, if I'm going to acknowledge a God, at least God should come to us. We got to get hand-me-downs and leftovers from other people. They're God. Not ours. God has never come to us. Our beliefs come from foreigners or the slave master. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. Show me any of your beliefs where God came to us without the aid of a foreigner. So these are not your gods. And really, the reality is you are in a good position because you don't need it. It's been proven and you've done very well without God. That's just a controlling mechanism. So now you worship these foreigners and you help uplift them and you become their servant. Not to a God, but to whoever gave you that. 